Is your leg yield helping or hurting your horse? Today, you're going to uncover strategies to refine your horse's leg yield, making it a cornerstone of greater precision and performance, and understand specifically why your horse needs you to continuously improve the quality of their leg yield. And I'm going to let you know how you can get our exclusive guide, Six Essential Tips for Mastering the Leg Yield. This comprehensive resource is designed to accelerate your horse's training, from avoiding common pitfalls to refining your techniques, these insights will elevate your training sessions and enhance your horse's responsiveness. So if you want it, make sure that you let me know down below. I'm Trish Hyatt from Working Equitation Simplified. With over 40 years spent training horses and coaching riders, both in person and online, my mission has been to unlock the potential within each horse and rider duo. Through proven strategies, I simplify complex maneuvers like the leg yield, making them easy to understand for you and your horse. If you don't know how to improve the quality of the leg yield, or you don't see any reason to, keep listening. You may find it easier to avoid the leg yield by using a different line of travel. Or maybe you've tried to improve it, but you don't know how and your horse isn't cooperating. While you can often avoid doing a leg yield, like for example, riding alongside a fence to get your coat instead of moving over towards it with sideways movement, you can't always avoid the need for it. Even if you don't show, you might see danger that the horse doesn't, maybe on the side of the trail, and need them to move away from that snarly mare <laughs> before they get kicked. And it's really handy to stop getting your kneecaps wiped out on trees. And if you show, it's often required, both in dressage and in completing obstacles efficiently and smoothly. But if your horse does know how to leg yield, which is moving forwards and sideways at the same time, while looking slightly away from the direction of travel, why bother improving it? Well, obviously, if you show or you want to, it'll affect your score and your ability to complete obstacles. And if you want to teach your horse the more technical moves like half pass, shoulder in, haunches in, and oh yeah, side pass, <laughs> that can be a handy one, both in the arena and on the trail. And the leg yield is an excellent precursor to that. But even if you don't show, there are many benefits that apply to all horses. It helps you get isolated control of the front or hind end of the horse while moving forwards and sideways. Without that, your horse gets crooked, may knock things over, interfere with their own movement, and can't cross their legs, to name a few. In short, it helps you develop better communication. Are you able to use your aids equally on both sides of the horse and get the same response? Or do you get a different response from the left or the right? Leg yield is both diagnostic and prescriptive. It shows you where your horse is not carrying weight equally on all four feet, while also giving you a tool to help them develop that ability. It shows you where they are less supple or less strong. Most horses seem to do fine with these imbalances in their body for a while, but not forever, especially when you add the weight of a rider, which is often also not balanced. So if we want our horse to last a good long time, not be wearing out on one side faster than the other, we owe it to them to improve the quality of the leg yield because the results of that will impact everything else we do with them. And it is a movement that even a new rider or a green horse can learn to do. So if you're already doing leg yield with your horse, grab the six essential tips for mastering the leg yield by asking for it below. And if you're not leg yielding yet, I've got you covered. Follow the link at the end of the PDF for a lesson on teaching your horse to leg yield in a simple way that allows you to focus on quality. Learn what to watch out for when doing leg yield so that your horse can improve their scores, develop more equally, and increase their longevity, and start seeing improvement from the first ride.